Okay, so I had a couple of comments on my last video from Chris and also from Bruce Banner. Uh, and it was about these thermal pads and uh, substituting them for thermal paste, which I do use in my DeSalvo case. Uh, that's how they work with thermal paste. But uh, I thought I'd try it with my ice tower cooler. I was going to use this case and take the sides off for the test, but uh, it's still going to be hassle getting it in and out of the case. So I'm going to leave this one as is. And uh, I'm going to use this one because it's super easy to take the top off this one, put the paste on and replace the ice tower cooler. So I've already installed Sysbench on uh, Twister OS, so sudo apt install Sysbench. And uh, I was using the same test that I used in my Pi Zero 2W, um, but it doesn't go on for long enough, so I've had to increase the value on it. So let's switch into screen capture and enable Conkey so we can measure the temperature. So if we press the Windows key and type in Conkey, you've got Run Conkey. And uh, as you can see, with this background, it's, uh, it's not very legible, but it has got the temperature. You can see it's 60 degrees on this Pi at the moment. Now, interestingly, on this DeskPi light case that I'm using currently, uh, the fan didn't come on as standard. Now, that could be because I've enabled something on a previous video. Uh, I have got another PWM controlled fan. Uh, so basically, this is running in silent mode. You can see it's at 58 degrees. If it goes a bit hotter, the fan will come on. Um, but uh, first of all, I'm just going to change that desktop background. So desktop settings and change the wallpaper to something a bit darker. So this shows up much, much better now. In Raspberry Pi OS, I always enable the uh, add-on uh, with temperature, but it isn't there in Twister. Um, but I mean, Conkey is better anyway, so it doesn't really matter. So if I call up the terminal and the script that I was running was uh, this one. So test CPU, CPU max prime. Uh, and it was at 5,000, but 5,000 takes no time at all. And it doesn't really give me enough time to test the temperature and see how high it would go up. So I've changed it to 15,000. Uh, so it basically takes a bit longer. And let's run that test, but I'm going to switch back to camera so I can show you that the fan comes on. Okay, so currently running at 50 degrees. Let's hit return. And see how quick it ramps up on the temperature. I can hear the fans come on already on the Pi. And you'll see the temperature, yeah, already at 69 degrees. And I know because I messed this up just now that uh, the fan goes back off when the Pi goes down to 50 degrees in this setting. So you can see it's all finished. It's up to 75 degrees there at the moment. But this is more just to test that it's working uh, because the thermal paste is arriving from Amazon tomorrow. And if you want to check out the video that Chris mentioned in his comment, it's this one here, Thermal Pad versus Pasta Thermica on Raz Pi Zone. Okay, the thermal paste has arrived. So I need to take this apart, probably get away with just the top. So you can see the pink pad in between the CPU and the thermal cooler at the moment. I'm going to do the test with that in place first. So I'm running Twister OS from this SSD drive, so let's switch into screen capture. Okay, so first up I'm going to use the same test as I used with the uh, DeskPi light case. So Sysbench, let's copy that in. So temperature is 43 at the moment, let's hit return, and we'll see how high that temperature goes. So you can see the CPU is ramping up a little bit. 52 degrees. Okay, we're nearly at 100% CPU usage. Now it's 100%. So 53, and 53 was as high as it got. So I've got a more thorough test, uh, and the more thorough test is Stressberry, which lasts quite a lot longer, but I thought I'd do that one first, so let's copy that and uh, pop the Strasberry script in here and go. This takes a while, so I'll come back when it's all done. Okay, so that's all finished. Uh, it created a text file and uh, what we got, 58.9 is probably the highest temperature on there. Uh, but if I want to convert that into a PNG, let's copy this and paste it in and that'll do that straight away. Uh, the next one I'm going to call paste so I know which one is which. Let's just save that. So if I go into Home and Pi and yeah, Pad PNG, so if we click on that, you can see the highest temperature it got to, and I'll be able to compare that in a minute to the paste. Okay, so I've taken down the base temperature, which was the last one that it did before the test, the maximum temperature, and also what it ended on. So let's save that and shut this down and apply the paste. Okay, so just four screws to take this off. 
and not much resistance to take that off. And then the thermal pad, which I'll save on here for now. Although hopefully I won't be going back to it. So I've got a bit of isopropyl to put on there just to make sure it's nice and clean. And I'll do the same on here as well. Okay, so it talks about the size of a P on a desktop CPU, but the, a desktop CPU is much, much larger than this. So I'm only gonna put a tiny little bit on. Yeah, I'm not gonna go anything more than that. Let's pop that back on. Nice and straight. Okay, so that's all done. We're not gonna be able to see much because uh, of how it is. Okay, so I think that looks pretty neat. Okay, so Sysbench first, and it got up to 53 in the previous test. So let's see what it does. So we're starting at 43, 47, nearly at its max, still 47, 49, and it's finished. So definitely, I mean, that's not a great test because obviously it's very quick. Um, so it's gonna be better on the more sustained test, but uh, already it seems to be better. Okay, so let's start Stressberry. Okay, so 55.5 was the highest it got to. Uh, just looking through, yeah, at the max frequency at 2148. Uh, and that's compared to 58.9. The base temperature started at 42.8, which was the same uh, as the thermal pad. Although my heating is on now, and it wasn't on earlier on when I was doing the test. So the ambient temperature in this room is warmer than it was. Uh, so what's it ended on? So this has ended up higher on the, the uh, current temperature, 49.6. But it didn't reach as high a temperature at its maximum at the highest clock speed. And this room is definitely warmer than when I did the previous test. And let's convert that file. So use this one here. Pop that in there. There you go, that's done. Okay, so a similar curve as you can see, um, but uh, on the left-hand side, the paste only goes up to 54 degrees on the chart because it felt it didn't need to go any higher, whereas it goes up to 58 degrees on the right-hand side. So yeah, definitely at the higher speeds, the paste performed better. So really where it counts in the maximum temperature that it gets to, it is definitely seeming to make a difference. Now, obviously you should do this test loads of times and uh, have a look at the other video uh, and see the results from that. But uh, now it's making me think, uh, the Pi 400 I'm sure has got a thermal pad and also in my Compute Module 4, I think that's also got a thermal pad in it. I can't remember if that's got CPU paste or a thermal pad, but I need to be having a look at those. Anyway, I hope all this helps. Thanks very much for watching, please like, and subscribe.